Hey guys, remember that place where the woman killed her husband? Hello everybody, I'm Nate Asher, and in the last episode, which was quite a while ago, but, um, crap, I'm gonna have to turn the gamma up already. There you go, can see a little bit better. But anyway, in the last episode we left off like we were gonna go to the desert area, and uh, I had intended to do that, but we can do this now, so I want to get this done real quick. Uh, let's see... You know what? I don't even remember what the woman said. Hang on. Okay. I think I remember it being back here somewhere. Sorry. Getting X. Got my phone on silent now though. Alright. Where wasn't her, was it? I mean, I, said, I publicly said the Zoras controlled the king and I've been jailed for it. Leave me alone. Okay, no, that's not the right girl. Um He's frank. I didn't even kill him. He was still moving. I started to hit him with my hammer when he was in his bed. Okay, so that's the first thing. Hammer. In bed. Then, I put him in the oven with a bomb. After that, I brought him to his favorite chair. And I shot him with an arrow. It wasn't enough for him. I wanted to throw him in the lake, but instead I put him in the basement of my house. Please finish the job. Okay. So, let's go back to the house. Yeah, I went ahead and stocked up on bombs and other stuff we needed. Got some potions and all that. Let's duck into the Dolchula house and see if there's a few more of these guys we've saved. How do I get up there? Come on. Hey, I found your brother. I just told you he's down there, but okay. Let him rock. See if 
go in this way. The curse has been broken. Okay, so we did save one. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. The giant's wallet. All right. 999 rupees. That is not the giant's wallet I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Thing there, I was like. Didn't I jump down two floors? What is that door? I was mistaken. Can I get up there? What is that? Oh, there's another guy up there. But yeah, I can. I have to jump onto that and then jump on that, which is a ladder. It's pretty cool house. Anyway, back to the... Alright, so if you're playing this 2 and you want to know how to get here, outside the castle, go on the pillar thing to the left, the other building, and then come out over here. There's also like something up here that I kind of wanted to look at if I haven't already. Might just be the way up there though. Almost fell through the middle. How they get you? Okay. So confirmed that this is just how you get over here. But unsure if I am able to. Link dove automatically, dude. Should have either. Oh, yeah, I have hover boots. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Bro? Falling in the water may have been w one of the best things that's happened to this Let's Play because I had no idea that was down there. I don't know why I pointed, but you can see the thing by Link there. Do I, have, I don't have iron boots yet. Um, who cares? <laughs> I'll do it later. Alright, here we are. I see a gold sculpture at the top of this building. And here.
give it to me. And All right, anyway, here we are. All right, first thing she did was um, hit him in bed with a hammer while he was in bed. It's dark. I mean, not that this game has shied away from being dark in the past. Alright. You put him in the oven? With a bomb. I guess this is the oven. Dude, that was so weird. I have one of those uh, Legend of Zelda Game and Watch um, handheld things, and I leave it displayed as a clock when I'm not playing it in its little thing and uh, when it's a clock it's like the original Legend of Zelda whenever oh this gate's down now it's like the original Legend of Zelda but it's got um, numbers and stuff in the background but sometimes when the little link that's playing on there and defeating enemies when he clears all the enemies and it moves to a different screen which it does um, every hour it uh, makes a little fanfare and that fanfare played at the exact moment that uh, that I put that ball <laughs> so I thought it that I was putting the ball in the right spot but I don't know if it did anything Put it in the uh, oven, 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 and then wherever his chair is, he was shot. Probably the chair that uh, is knocked down. I'd wager to guess. Do I shoot over the chair or do I shoot the chair? Gonna put take him to the lake, but wait. Dude, this thing's still up though. There's a way you can do this without jumping down.
Okay then. Oh, I opened this door. Is it? Oh, this must be like where she cooks and stuff. So I guess this is the oven. Ah, uh, dude, I would have used my last freaking bomb for that. Oh my gosh. Back with bombs. Okay, so after she put them in the oven, it was bed, oven, then the chair. Maybe that's why the chair didn't work before. Okay, that stripped me out. I needed a second. Oh, this is his favorite chair. And... So... We have... Hit him with a hammer in bed. Put him in the oven with a bomb. Took him to his favorite chair and shot him. And then instead of putting him in the lake, put him in the basement to deal with him later. Told me to finish the job. I bet like everyone thinks she's crazy and it turns out um, it's actually like a monster or something. <laughs> actually it makes a lot of sense why the uh, hookshot target is here. Did you gotta jump down there? This is kind of scary and creepy, dark. I like it. Oh, he has a Gibdo. Um, dude, it really sucks to be a Gibdo right now. Gibdos.
I didn't realize my the Goran sword was broken. An empty bottle. Wow. This is actually kind of funny because um, when I stopped in town to get like bombs and stuff uh, earlier, I actually bottle duped <laughs> over the uh, the letter that you start with at the beginning of the game that tells you like good luck and have fun and stuff. See, it's not over here with the other bottles because it. This spot is not supposed to be a bottle. Well, um, technically, I guess the developer made that spot a letter in a bottle, but uh, the item itself was not recognized as a bottle. Like, you couldn't use it as a bottle, it was recognized as, as a a uh, yeah, trading sequence item that you just hold up but I went ahead and uh, duped over it because it wasn't doing me any good sitting in my inventory and uh, bottle would be more helpful I think I've showed how to dupe over items before just in case I haven't though I will show you real quick before we head over that way go ahead and make a safe state though because you do over a bottle and then you save it then you're stuck with whatever you do so um, in this case We'll dupe over so you dump out the bugs, then you go to like pick them up again. Actually, hang on. So dump out the bugs. Put your bottle away, and then, uh, dude, are you serious? Good thing I made a safe state. That's another, um, little, uh, secret, I guess you call it, about Ocarina of Time, which is that if you drop bugs on top of bugs that are like currently burrowing into the ground then it makes all the bugs disappear even the ones you just now dropped like there you don't get that little period of them running around like if if they see the other bugs that you dropped like 10 seconds ago start growing in the ground they just go with them and then you're screwed so Never drop bugs on top of bugs. You heard it here. 
Alright, this bro is probably gonna screw with me. There we go. Alright, so you put the bugs down. You drop the bottle. Go like you're gonna oh miss it. It's a really tight window. You get you put the bottle away and then you swing the bottle like you're gonna scoop up some more bugs and pause. Man, that's a tight window. Alright, so we're mid swing now. So let's put divine shield over this bottle. Wait a minute, we already put this the bottle away. We replaced it with the shield. What happened? Where did the shield go? That's bottle again. This one I'm not too worried about though, it wasn't necessary for the game, it was just a easter egg type thing, but I turned it into an item that is useful for the game, so. Um, anyways, with that, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, I'm going to head straight on over there and see what's going on, because I haven't played this game in a while, so um, might... Just uh, go ahead and keep playing more of this and, of course, keep recording episodes. But uh, I'll see you guys uh, hopefully soon. So, and expect the Discovered Sword later this week. Anyways, I've been Nate Asher. Bye, guys.